Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to teach you how to create a page section background image that looks great on desktop, but is also optimized for mobile. Now we're going to do this using Adobe Express. I am super excited to announce that I am officially an Adobe Express ambassador and they are sponsoring this video. They wanted to have me teach you how to use their program. Super honored to be a part of the Adobe Express community. So before we get started, I want you to click on the link in the description below. That's a link to the template that I designed in Adobe Express that we're going to use. I'm going to teach you how to edit this template, how to add your own images and use the Adobe Express program to create a page section background that is optimized for every device. You ready to get started? Let's do it. When you click the link in the description below, you'll be taken to the template folder I have in Adobe Express. Make sure you click follow library because although I only have one template in there right now, there will be a lot more in the future. So right here, we have the Squarespace page section background template. You'll see a little preview of it where it says mobile safe zone. I want you to select create from and you'll be able to log into Adobe Express or create your account. Now at the time of recording this, Adobe Express is offering a free 30 day trial to help you get started with their program and get comfortable using it. So I'm just gonna select start 30 day free trial to get going. Follow the prompts here, and when you're ready, just click that X button, and we can get started with this template. Now, there are two images inside this template. This one right here is for a centered image, and I've outlined the mobile safe zone. When this loads on a mobile device, anything that's inside this blue square is going to show up if you match this circle to the focal point in Squarespace. Now, in this second one, I've lined this up on the left-hand side and used a background image to show you how this works. On the very bottom here, this is how I've been navigating between these two slides, or two images, I should say. If you wanna duplicate this and make it your own, click this button right here, or if you just wanna add a brand new page that doesn't have this mobile safe zone feature to it that I've added to these two templates, just click the plus sign and you can add a blank page. You can also click this right here if you wanna view all the pages that are available inside this particular template. So starting with this one right here, let's go ahead and edit this for our Squarespace site. Let's go ahead and delete the text and the circle. I'm gonna click the text and I'll also hold the shift key on my keyboard and click the circle. Now that they're both outlined in white, I can delete them and they will be removed. Now let's say we wanna change up this image. If I click on this image here, on the right hand side, we'll get the edit image option. Here I can actually replace it with something else. If I select replace, over on the left hand side, the whole photo menu is going to pop open. Now you'll see this little crown over here. Because you signed up for the free 30 day trial, you've got access to that image. So scrolling through here, I've already searched for computer. That's how we generated that image, but we can search for anything we want. Maybe you'd like to have uh, books, for example. I'll type in the word books and let's see what kind of images Adobe has for us to work with. There's some pretty great ones in here. Let's go ahead and go with this image. Now I like that image. I'm gonna click this X button and we'll go ahead and navigate up here to the top and zoom out just a little bit so we can see what's on our canvas here. Now I want you to notice we have that square that designates the mobile area on the left-hand side there. So if we wanna zoom in on those books, we're in the right spot. I'm gonna go ahead and push that to the lower layer by clicking this option right here and pushing it all the way down to the bottom. Now our image is going to be on the top. That's a great way for you to keep using this template, but easily see what's going to be visible if you set the focal point in the center of that square. So what the heck does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and put this to use in Squarespace. I'm gonna download this image and I'm gonna select this page and PNG. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics and it's definitely a higher quality than some of the other options. So I'll go ahead and select Start Download. Now let's hop into Squarespace. I'm gonna select Edit and we'll add this as a page section background to a brand new section. I'll select add section and let's pick one of the pre-made ones. How about this one right here? I'll select edit section and under background, I'm going to select add an image and I'll upload the file that we just created using Adobe Express. That file's going to upload and now we can see we've got the text over the books and the image on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that image and we'll grab these blocks and I'll pull them over to the side because I want them to be over that blue color. Now we have an image that you can see is high quality here and optimized for the desktop version of our site. So let's take a look at changing the focal point for mobile. If I select edit section and select background, this circle right here was the same circle from our template. 
I'm gonna hop back into Adobe Express to show you what I mean. If we click on our image and move this to the lowest layer, you're gonna see that same square that we were working with. This square is for the mobile safe zone, but only if we put our focal point in the very center of it. Back inside Squarespace, we can move this focal point right here. There we go. And now when we look at the mobile version of our site, those books will be centered in the page section. Now, if we go back to desktop and we select edit section one more time, Going over to background, we can move that focal point to the right hand side. You'll notice the desktop version doesn't change, but when we click on the mobile view, all we're going to see is that blue background. We don't see those books anymore. Pretty cool, right? So again, we have the high optimized desktop view. The image template size is stretched so that these high quality images from Adobe Express are going to look great on desktop. Just make sure when you edit the section and select the focal point for your background image, you place it in the correct spot for mobile. Again, this will now show the books, whereas on the desktop version, it'll stretch it to full screen. Now inside that link for those Adobe templates, I did have two. This very first one is the mobile safe zone for a fully centered image. Now let's say you want to use a different photo. We'll select photos and instead of books, how about we look up a forest? There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, this image right here. I think that one looks pretty cool. It's going to add it to my template here. I'm gonna go and scoot this over to the side. Let's stretch it so it takes up the full space and I'll move it to the middle and let's scoot it to the lowest layer so we can see our mobile safe zone right there, right in the center. Awesome. Let's go ahead and change the opacity of this. I'm gonna use the slider on the right hand side to reduce that just a little bit. All right, I think this is gonna be great. I'm gonna click on the image one more time and selecting layer, I'm gonna move it to the very top. Let's download this image, this page. Again, a PNG is preferred and I'll show you how high quality this image is going to be for our page section background. Let's go ahead and go back to Squarespace. We'll select edit section and for background, we're gonna remove this one and we'll add our new image. Now that this has been uploaded, it's important to notice our text is over on the right hand side, but this image was for centered content. So let's go ahead and highlight the content here, move it on over to the center of our page section. I'm gonna press G on my keyboard so I can see that grid and make sure it's aligned center. I think we're gonna need to scoot the size of this over just a little bit wider so it's perfectly centered. There we go. Now I'll select edit section and click on colors because I wanna use a different color here. Let's go ahead and go with bright two or maybe darkest one. There we go. And now back here in the edit section option, don't forget that for a background image, you can change the overlay opacity. We want this to darken a little bit to make that text stand out even more, super possible. I'm pressing G on my keyboard again because I want to get rid of that grid so we can see just how high quality this image is. How beautiful is this image from Adobe? I just love it. All right, I'm going to scoot this button up a little bit just so it's closer to the text. I like the layout of that a little bit more. Now let's go ahead and check out the mobile version. That looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? Especially with that overlay opacity, that high quality image just kind of fades into the footer section there. I think it looks awesome. And it's perfectly centered on mobile. So again, we have the desktop view. And if we select edit section and select background, we can change the focal point. But for this particular image, we wanted that centered focal point. Now you do have the option to move it higher or lower if you want. Our section isn't entirely full height. So if we wanna make sure we see the top of the image, scoot that circle all the way to the top or scoot it down here towards the bottom if you wanna make sure those leaves on the ground of this image are going to show up in the page section background. Play around with that focal point until it's just right for the image that you added to this template. And that wraps it up for this video. Thank you again to the team at Adobe for sponsoring this content. I'm honored to be an Adobe Express ambassador, and I hope you watching this video are excited about using this program too. Again, a link to that template that we just used, it's in the description below, and it's totally free. So click on that and start customizing. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.